guys. <laughs> Are you sure we're not hurting the baby? No! Andrew, no! For the hundredth time, no! And I'm not sure you want to go to the next six months without having sex. Because I don't want to. <laughs> but look at your tummy. It's, it's showing. It's the first, I'm still in the first trimester. Babe, is it just me? Cause... Look, it's flat. It no, is not. It's, it's, it's oh, so please, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you want to go? Yeah. You want to go? Good? Good? Just good. Really? You look very good. Oh, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> mm. 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 You have a good day at work, okay? Thank you. Don't miss me too much. I'll try. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let's meet at our usual place. I'm driving down there. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Here you go. Is that for me? Yeah. So, tell me, how did it go with CIM? Are things looking good for us? I'd say they are. And talking about looks, you look really good oh, today. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing this for me. I will go through it and get back to you. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, it's me. Me? Yeah, you know that great sexy guy you live with? Oh, right. Listen, babe, um, I'll be a little... Late, right? Yeah, I, I have to meet a client and it shouldn't be too long. Okay, that means I'll just start dinner late. No, don't do that. I'll no, just... I want to wait for you. Okay, you know what? Okay. After your meeting, why don't we just go to a restaurant and have something nice? Thank you. See you later, babe. Love you. Okay, I'll see you later. Hmm. What am I going to wear? How far now? I do. Well done. Thank you. How have you been? I've been good. <sighs> the final is himself. <laughs> it's not easy actually. How's school and the stress of uh, being a finalist? Ah, very stressful actually. Very, very stressful. Yeah, I know how it is. Back then when we were still in school, you know, the pressure of uh, uh, 
uh, what do you call it, project, yeah, you know, trying to get your grades high and stuff. I understand how it is totally. It is well. It's not easy. Of course. So what's up? It's nothing much, actually. Just like I told you over the phone. Uh, having to be a finalist, a final year student, you get too many stress. Paying your school fees in full, getting handouts from different lecturers, and they make sure that you get them. So I really need that amount I told you on phone to be able to scale through all this. Well, I um, I totally understand. <sighs> but you know, um, as a salary earner, the month is already far spent. And it's not as if when the salary comes in, it will just uh, situate it in one place and uh, and leave it there. You know that there are other responsibilities that needs taken care of. Um, that amount you are asking for, though exotic, I, I can be able to spare half of it. I understand because of uh, other things that have have uh, occurred. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I know, I know that you really need this. If not, you would not have asked for it. But so I don't know. Uh, you just manage whatever it is I give to you and try to settle some of these uh, school issues you talk about, but you settle it uh, according to their grade of importance. You understand? Then uh, let's see how the month goes. Towards the end of this month, I uh, might be able to complete the money so that you sort out the other things. <laughs> it's fine. I understand, actually. It's not easy. Children two responsibilities at the same time. Many responsibilities, actually. That's true. But just as you know, I'm yeah, my big brother, so I keep running to you. All right, uh, so what we'll do is uh, you will uh, send me your account details so that I can make the transfer just now. Babe, I was wondering. Oh, here she goes. Come, just listen. Okay. I was just wondering, what do you intend to do about the bungalow? The one you inherited from your grandmother? Don't you want to fix it up and rent it? Make some money? You know, I'm surprised you even brought that up. Why? You don't want to fix it up? Someday, I will. But? Babe, I want us to take advantage of our time now before the baby comes. I was thinking we should go to Dubai. Dubai? Yeah. I mean, we can have our third anniversary in Dubai. It's our second anniversary, Andrew. Seems long. You're terrible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know. I know it's our second anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> you better know that. Probably well, know. So what do you think about... Uh, Dubai? Yeah. Of course I'd like to go. I know you would love that. <laughs> of course I'd like to go. <laughs> But you should think about that house. I'm just... I just saw what I'm talking about. Okay. Are we still talking mm -hmm. about it? Thank you. You didn't catch me. Wait. I hope this does not signify that you're hoping for a boy. Yep. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Well, if it's a girl, she has to look just like you. Oh. <laughs> if I told you how much I love you. I love you. Mm. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? <laughs> we should get a room? Well, this is my house. Leave it alone. <laughs> Let's love it. I love it, absolutely. Okay, we're good to go. I want you to give these documents on CIM to Debbie. 
and have her do the standard papers. I want him to get the contract by tomorrow. No problem. Anything else? Nothing else. Okay, good. Oh, um, are you free for the rest of the afternoon? I have an appointment. You have an appointment? Where? so much. Uh, give me a minute. I'll be with you, okay? Sure. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wow. You finished it already? Yes. This is so impressive, George. This is good. You, you just need my signature, right? Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, Nancy. How are you? This is Betty Benjamin. Sorry, this is George. How are you, madam? I'm doing great. I don't know by chance if Andrew is anywhere close to you. No, ma'am. He is out of the building at the moment, and I'm not sure where he went. But I could help you ask Deborah of his whereabouts. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. I can wait till tonight. Um, I heard him mention something about the bungalow building, though. If that helps you any. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the information. All right. He didn't tell me he was going there. He didn't tell me. Let me call Claire. Hi, Claire. Hello, Betty. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I was just thinking, right? Since you say you feel a lot better now, would you like to ride with me to our bungalow? If you don't mind. It's not far, it's like 30 minutes from here. Wow. That would have actually been nice, but <laughs> Mike is around. You know, I can't just leave him all alone in my house. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll take you there some other time. <sighs> but wait, this is like the first time I'm hearing you talking about going to the bungalow. What's up? I know, right? I, I heard that um, Andrew is there, checking it out. For renovation? Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. But if it is, I just want to go over there and surprise him, you know? All right. Enjoy your day, okay? Why I enjoy my own day with my own man. <laughs> All right, there. All right. And you too. For your meeting. Good luck. Bye. See you later. What was that? <sighs> of course, my girl. What are you doing? What is that? What's the business that's really about? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you're chatting all this, your smallies. Why would I be? You're my man. Hello?
your time now. And I'm not sure you want to go to the next six months without having sex. Because I don't want to. <laughs> but look at your tummy. It's, it's showing. It's the first, I'm still in the first trimester. Babe, is it just me? Because... Look, it's flat. It is no, not... It's, it's, it's oh, so please, come here. Mm. <laughs> I was just wondering, what do you intend to do about the bungalow? The one you inherited from your grandmother? Don't you want to fix it up and rent it? Make some money? You know, I'm surprised you even brought that up. Why? You don't want to fix it up? Someday, I will. But? Hey, I want us to take advantage of our time now before the baby comes. I was thinking we should go to Dubai. Dubai? Yeah. I mean, we can have our third anniversary in Dubai. It's our second anniversary, Andrew. Seems long. You're terrible. <laughs> Smoky, I don't want my clothes to be smelling of smoke. And can you get dressed? Why? We have to go. No, we don't. What do you mean we don't? We have work. We don't have to go. Come on, Tony. It's no. not time for this. We have it's to. Too early. No, we have to.
It's me, Betty. Betty, are you okay? Please, I need, I need your help. Can you come over to my house right now? Please. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you. Hey, God, what's wrong with Betty again? What's... Yeah? I know, I need to go and see Betty. She just called me. I don't know what's wrong with her. No problem. What's she know that's what I'm okay? Doing? I don't know. That's what I want to find out. She called me to come over. I'm heading to the hospital. Eh? I don't know. Did you call Andrew? Do you know where he is? I don't know where he is, Claire. Just drive fast. Go in there, okay? Please, eh? Sorry. Please, eh? Just breathe in and breathe out. You'll be fine. Go to the hospital. We're not there yet. I'm sorry. Uh, for me, okay? Uh, sorry, eh? Sorry. Are we not there yet? Claire, please be fast. I'm, I'm, I'm in so much pain. Hello? Hi Claire, what's up? <sighs> Finally. It's Betty. What happened to Betty? I brought her to the hospital. What? Why didn't anybody call me? I've been calling your number, I don't know what's wrong. But is she okay? She kept on complaining of stomach pain, you know, her tummy. So I had to rush her here. Please, you really need to hurry up. Oh my God. The baby. I don't know. I just pray. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't, I don't know. Please just get here, okay? Okay, I'll call you back. see my wife. Her name is Betty Benjamin. She's pregnant. She was brought to this hospital. Well, my name is Dr. Chooks. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Um, sorry, Mr. Benjamin. Your wife had a miscarriage, so we did a dance on her. She's resting now. Okay. What? She lost the baby? I'm sorry, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I see her? 
She's she's resting right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank awesome. you so much. All right. I'm coming. She's going to be fine. Don't worry, okay? Just that some people are more sensitive to the anesthesia. All right? Okay. She'll be fine. Don't Th worry. Thank you so much. All right. I'll be back. Let me just check on the other one. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. Doctor said we can try it. Don't say it. What? Don't say it. Look, I know you don't want to hear it. You're right. So don't say it. You should eat your food. Everything will be fine. You've not been eating properly lately, and it's not healthy. <clears throat> okay, um, I have great news. You want to hear it? All right, I'll just tell you. I'm meeting with these potential clients. They're huge. Vincent, Tobechuku, and Chidi. If this deal goes through, baby, it's going to be major. Like, it's going to be big. Are you listening to me? That's very good. Yeah. It's good. Like, it's great. I'd like to go upstairs now. Babe. Please, I want to go upstairs.
even though we've been married for a short time, it's been mostly unhappiness and distant. I had a miscarriage recently. There's really, really no reason for me to stay any longer. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, so, you, you want me to have a divorce paper, Joanna? Mm -hmm. But we won't proceed until our next meeting, right? Yes. Um, are you certain you want nothing from your husband? Listen, Betsy, I'm a good lawyer. I can get you 50% or even more if you let me. I don't want anything. But you are entitled. I don't want anything from Andrew. Okay. Or well, maybe you and your husband might work things out. Who knows? <laughs> Buki, I still have your account details, right? I'll make payments before our next meeting so you can at least start the papers, yeah? You're the only lawyer that I can trust right now. And I'll always be there. Thank you. You'll be fine, okay? Thank you so much. This one you are looking like this, I hope all is well. Betty had a miscarriage. What? I am so, so sorry. I didn't know you guys were expecting. Yeah. She didn't want me to say anything yet. So how is she doing? She'll be fine. We'll just try in a few months' time. Man, I'm so, so sorry, man. It's okay. It's fine. So, uh, what's up? How uh, did the meeting go? Well, it went well. Well, well? Very well. That's good. Yes. Man, again, I'm so sorry to hear mm. about this. So, this document is all ready for your signature. When you're done, I'll transfer it to Ola and Uche. Yeah. Andrew. Andrew! The document is ready for your signature. Okay, thank you. Um. I um, checked your shadow and I realized you're free. So, are we going to... I don't know. Yes, you do. I don't. Andrew? What are you doing? I don't. 
Don't you want me? Babe, are you okay? Morning, babe. I see you're in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Wow, is that all for me? Yep. Mm. Honey, that is a lot. I know. Why don't you join me? Oh, no, I'm just going to eat something else later. Babe, just a little bit. I'll prepare something else for myself. I don't want to eat eggs. Okay, you say so. Yeah. Were you able to meet up with a law firm um, 
to to oh, Vincent Tobechuku and Chidi. Yes. Yes, yes, we are actually meeting Let today me and it. it's going to be big mm -hmm. if we get it. Then I will start looking to buy a bigger building. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, baby. Okay. <laughs> Too good. Look, I want you to handle Vincent, Tobechuku, and Chidi. I want to make it through for the meeting. Oh my god, they just came and Deborah is taken into the conference room. Just tell them I had an emergency. An emergency? Can't you see I'm not looking good for, for a meet? I'm sorry. Call George. Both of you should handle the meeting. You know what to cover. I'm not... All the materials are ready. Oh, I, I know, but I, I don't... Tini, can you just do this? Can't you see I'm not in the right shape for a meet? Just go! Baby, I'm home. Oh, my God. Hey! Oh. What is the matter with you? What happened? I don't know. It, it must be a flu or something. Flu? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're burning. Do you want me to call the doctor? No, no, no. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'll just go upstairs here. Yeah. Okay, I'll just quickly prepare something for you, okay? Mm. Okay. All right. Ah. Just one second. Thank you. Ah.
I don't want anything. Oh, come on, honey. You'll be dehydrated. It's just custard. No, I, I don't want you to catch this. <laughs> I am not going to catch anything. Sorry. Were you able to make your meeting with Vincent and Tobuchiku? Uh, no. So sorry. I can't believe this. The most important sorry. meeting sorry. of this year. And this had to happen. I never get sick. I know. But you're going to have some custard, though. Oh, no, no, no. Just, maybe just, just drop it here. Andrew, you have to have something. Just drop it here. It's OK. Just drop it. <sighs> ah. oh. Sorry, but take some so you can take some medicine. Oh. So sorry. Let me quickly check something in the kitchen. Oh. I'm sorry I did not get back to you yesterday. But I'm sure you and George were able to handle the meeting. You guys didn't have a problem, right? No. That means everything went well. As far as I know. But Mr. Chidi wasn't happy that you were not present. Well, that's fine. Let me take you out for lunch so you can brief me on everything. Don't worry. I promise to make it worth your while. I'll count on that. Running in early. Good night. Andrew, I can't. Please. I know. I said I can't. It's too soon. Babe, I am not pressuring you for sex. I just want to get close to you. Besides, I have been really patient with you. Every time I come close to you, I touch you, you, you push me away. What the hell is wrong? I ask what is wrong? I lost a baby. I lost a baby too. But you act like it's my fault or something. Look, it's both not our fault. It was a miscarriage. Simple and plain. You should get some help. Some serious help. See you soon. Andrew, I'll try. What? I'll try to get through this. I hope so.
Yeah, hello? Tunde, where you day? My car don't stop. I don't know what's happen. Where you day? I day um, Chisholm Avenue. You know that gate where they enter the estates after before my office? Yeah, that estate before my office, yes. How long is it going to take you to get here? I can't wait for you now. Let me just close this. I'll lock it up and you come and pick it up. Huh? All right. Um, fine. I was wondering where you've been. Yeah, about that, um, my car broke down. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I was just driving and it stopped. I, I didn't know what's wrong with it. Sorry. Um, hope it's getting fixed already. Yes, the mechanic is, is on it. Thank you. You look drained. Yeah. Are you okay? The car broke down. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't know. I was just driving and it just stopped. I called the mechanic to have a look at it. I had to use a cab to the office. Was that bad? I'm so sorry. Not bad. And the car is just barely a year old. I know, right? Mm. Anyway, Do you how... want to get something to eat? No. How was your day? Oh, it was great. I like seeing that smile on your face. Thank you. You care for right. something to eat? Nah, let me just change up. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Man, how's work been? It was fine, you know. This is our nine to five job. Always stressful. But I said, after my business of the day, let me come and chill with you. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. You, you can go to the cellar and get anything you want to get for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're sending me to your bar. You know, when I get there, I will pick the most valuable champion there. It's better you go and get it for me because when I get there, Anything I pick, I will pop. Uh, this is my house, which is also your house because you're my friend. So you can go and pick anything you the want. The more reason why I'm picking you. <laughs> <laughs> or meanwhile, let me just uh, relax a bit. It's all right, bro. You know that that's not a problem. That's what's so up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. Uh, bro, there is something I... There is something I really wanted to talk to you about. Yes, um, you know this lady I've talked to you about one time? Your girlfriend? No. <laughs> Not my girlfriend, bro. Yeah, this lady at the office, uh, Tenny. Yeah, Tenny. What about her? Well, I am beginning to develop a certain softness for her. You know, a certain lightness towards her. Man, I, 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 I feel I, I'm in love with that girl. Oh, you're falling in love with her? Yes. Your guy is in love with Tony. If you have fallen in love with her, 
There's a thing happening in between you and your girlfriend. What do we call that? Bro, nothing happens to her. Listen, I've been telling you this. Stop jumping from one girl to another. And to crown it all, this girl works in your office. This is mixing business with pleasure. Don't you get that? I am not mixing business with pleasure. And I am not jumping from one girl to another. I See, uh, this is what is there. I will not allow my, my relationship with Tenny to affect my productivity at the office. You know that. Okay, what if she dumps you or you dumps her? Well, the latter can work. I can dump her, but she cannot dump me. Now, yes, you are in love, you are happy, but that's how it all starts. Along the line, when the thing goes sour, you still come back to me. And I want to take this out of your life before it affects the, your entire life. Why can somebody not bring an issue to your table and have a favorable answer? Why are you always such a killjoy, bro? You are my friend. And I know I cannot advise you wrongly. You know how we do these things, bro. Is it a crime for somebody to fall in love now? This, I don't understand. Because you claim you are in love with your girlfriend. Bro, let us not be stingy with love. We can share this thing. I cannot sit here and allow you make wrong decision. You know why you are saying this? It's because you've not seen that girl. Bro, you've not seen that lady. When you see that lady, you will know what I'm talking about. And you will not be saying these things you are saying now. Listen, one thing I am sure of, this is not right for you. One, you have a girlfriend. Secondly, it is in your office. Ross. Oh yes, we are. You know how it is. Uh, you are sweet over the phone as you are physically. No, 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 no. I'm not teasing you. It's the truth. I'm serious. I'm not pulling your leg. Now, this is not one of those lines that those uh, little boys give to you. What I'm telling you is the truth. And the truth is I might report you to the police. Yes, that there is a terrorist attack. A female terrorist that is about to blow my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Ah, that's naughty. That's 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 very naughty of you. Yeah, okay. Since you want to be naughty, since you have decided to be naughty, why don't we um convert this uh, phone call to uh, a physical meeting? Yeah, just get to venue where we can meet and spend some time some time together. Oh yes, you know I love you too. Yes. Of course, if you can spare out time, I can spare spare time too. All right, you just pick a place, pick a a, 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 a a time and a place, a venue, and then send it to me up there in the GP. All right. Yeah, I love you too. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Alright. Why is this guy call me now? Hello, bro. Yeah, what's up? How you doing now? I'm fine too. Oh no 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 serious this is bad bad very bad timing bro I'm not at home I'm not at home at the moment 
well, I don't know if I'll be home later or if I'll sleep at home, but... Yes, can't you make it tomorrow? Uh, yes, I, I went out to meet my boss. He just called me and there's uh, something he wanted me to take care of. Baba no the house. I'm not at home. I'm serious. What do you want to make I do now? If, if, if there is any issue, if there's any problem, why don't you talk to me over the phone? Then let's see how we can sort it out. Yes. Baba, nobody they argue this argument with you. I don't already tell you now. I don't tell you. We will see tomorrow. I will call you. I will, I will personally call you or I will stop by your place any which way. Alright, man. Alright, man. You just take care, okay? Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Alright, bye. Bye. See this man. See this man. You always pour paroles for me. No, 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 no. Not today. Not now. Sweetheart, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Where are you going? Uh, well, my, my boss just called me. Uh, I have to go and meet him up for work right now. It's, it's, it's urgent. Your boss dressed like this? Oh, yes. Uh, it's an unofficial meeting, so... And it's impromptu, so I just... You didn't tell me you were coming. Why didn't you call? Mm, sorry, I didn't do that. Babe, for the past few weeks now, we haven't seen you. For me to come today, and you say you're going out to see your boss. Anyways, that's good. If you're going out to see your boss, then we go together. Or you stay back for a while. No, 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 no. You know this is not how this works. This is work. Why? Okay, babe, you're just coming in. You're tired. Why don't you just go in and get some rest? I'll go see my boss, finish up with whatever it is, and then come back and see you. No. I'm not staying back. So let's go together. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, OK, just. Just. Come in. Okay. <laughs> That's my baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe, you are such a tornado. You make me erupt like a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, baby. I missed you too. <laughs> and I feel like going and looking around you. Uh, um, no, 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 I'm tired. Why? I'll to rest. <laughs> How do you rest? How do you rest with something like this? You, you can't rest now when okay, you're doing it. It's okay, just. I'll, I'll guide him, I'll just. Hold on for me. Let me just move my eyes. Ah, so where were we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I miss you too, baby. I miss you too. <laughs> So you want us to give you the rest? Mm-hmm. Your fudge. What's that? Um, my boss, you know I... Your boss? Uh, yes, I told you about the meeting. I have to do this. Okay. Well. I'm fine, I'm fine.
Yes, are you there already? Babe, um, I am so, so sorry. I am so sorry. Something came up, you know, work, my boss, the, the office, and it's impromptu. I, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Babe, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to send me the bill of that hotel and everything. Yes, the bills of the hotel, send it to me. I'm going to take care of it. But I can't meet you today. Please work well. We're going to have to reschedule. Oh, yes. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. All right. All right, I have to go now. I have to go now. It's, it's not good for me right now. Ah, uh, yes. All right. All right, bye. Thank you. Jesus. Sorry, okay. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Can you just give me a break? Well, I can't do anything about that. Did something wrong? No, I thought you were upstairs. I want to get something to drink. Are you okay? Yes, I, it's nothing. I'm, I'm fine. That must have been some conversation to get you shouting. Oh, um, it's a conversation with one of my employees. <laughs> hey! What did you do with the nursery? The teddy bear? I put them away. You threw it away? No, I put them away in the hall closet. Why? Does it bother you that much to see it? Does it mean that you don't want to have anything to, to, to do with the baby? No. Then why would you put everything away? I just did. I don't know. I just did. In a few months, we can try again. It's not that far off. You don't want to try again? Babe, I hope you're not thinking you're going to have another miscarriage. I really don't want to talk about this right now. Why not? Just let go. All you seem to care about is having your baby. What are you talking about? You heard me. That's all you, you just talk about. Having your baby. I want to have a baby. Then, then stop arguing with me. You're putting me under pressure. You're always fighting it's with okay. me. It's okay. It's okay. I, I didn't mean to fight with you. I just want to have everything back on track. I want to go and see my parents when they get back. But except you're going to give me a hard time about that. No. I won't. I need, I need to think. But I missed you. I mean... Can you see that I am working? I am working. Stop this. What is wrong with you? I miss you. Larry, can you, can can you please just keep Stop, me? stop. Hey, hey, stop it. I am busy here. Can you just go? Get out. Andrew. Get out. 
Leave. All right. Oh, Jesus. Andrew? Are you still here? Boyfriend place. Hmm, maybe we'll see some other time. What is it now? Why are you disturbing my life? Did I not say we'll see some other time? What's your problem? Please, don't spoil my mood. I don't want to insult you. Just stop calling my line. Don't you dare get close to me. I'm sorry, it's not what you think. It's not what I think? Yes. It's not what I think? Yes. I saw you and George together and you're telling me it's not what I think? Yes. It's, it's, it's what? Hey, hey, are you listening to me? Go to your office, get your things, and leave my company. You hear me? Andrew, please. You hear what I said? Yes. You hear what I said? Yes. Get out! Ah! Was okay, but stressful as usual. Mm -hmm. I understand. <sighs> Babe, are you okay? I'm oh, fine. We are not looking fine. Are you having any problem in your office? Oh no. Okay. I'll be fine. Are you sure you'll be fine? I will. Okay, if you say so. Just go in and freshen up. All right, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I love you. So, 
what happened in the office. Bro, I think I'm in trouble. Right now, I don't even know if I still have a job or not. I don't. In fact, I don't, I don't know anything. You've not said anything. What <laughs> happened? Well, see, the thing is, that lady at the office, Tenny, I told you about, uh, you know that we work within the same office space. And so uh, we got talking and uh, emotions got high and we started making out at the office. And that was when my boss came in. He came in and he seemed very upset. He, he caught us in the act and he was very, very, very angry, very upset. And he has not spoken to me. He has not said anything. And I just don't know whether I still have a job or not. I, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just confused right now. I, you know, I hate to say that I told you. But I still have to say it. I warned you, but you didn't listen. I know that you said it, but this is already an open wound. You don't have to rub it in with salt. It, 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 it's already an injury. I called you here for solution. You're my friend, right? Uh, yes. So, okay. What exactly do you want me to do? I, do, I, do, I, do? I don't want to lose my job. Seriously, I don't want to lose my job. I don't know what to do. Can you, can you please help me? Oh, when you get to your office tomorrow, call Tenny to your office or to your boss office and start making out again. That will keep your job. You are the architect of your problem. I warned you, but you never listen. Instead, you went and fell into a ditch that you dug for yourself. I called you here to help me. And you are, are you making jest of me? No, no, it's not like that though. Okay. What makes you believe that you are going to take my advice this time? Bro, anything that is going to make me keep my job, I will do it. I'm serious. I need this job. Okay, fine. When you get to your office tomorrow, go to your boss's office, call Tenny before your boss, and start making out. Bro, leave my house. Hmm? No, leave my house because you... you I can't be in this kind of situation and, and, and if you cannot be of help, there is no need for you to be here. Uh, uh, he has not gotten to that now. Uh, calm down. Somebody cannot tease you. I thought you said that you are my friend. You uh, cannot tease me in this kind of situation. Not this, not this kind of teasing. I need a solution. Down. Fire Tenny. George will begin our installations in two weeks, yeah? Whenever you're ready, Mr. Chidi. Excellent. That means the installations will be over before the summer vacation, agreed? Agreed. So um, you can call me whenever you want to ask any question or if you need anything. I will. Nice doing business with you, sir. Uh, the pleasure is on mine. Thank you. You see yourself out, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, good. Thank you. Ah.
Are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? You look so tense. I think I'm fine. You want me to help you relax? Um, I just came to tell you I've made dinner. I'm going to serve your food now. Okay. Uh, I'll be right out. Yes, can you please check the documents I sent to your mail? Uh-huh. Yeah, everything is done. No, George is going to call you about the meeting. I'll call you back. Andrew. What are you doing here? We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. What is there to talk about? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For everything. Please. <sighs> what do you want? I am... Um, I, I came to apologize and to ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. That's all? That's why you came here? Yes. To forgive you? Yes. Okay, I forgive you. Now get out of my office. No, you... Please, I'm sorry. I said get out of my office! Please, Andrew, what you saw wasn't... Okay. Wasn't, wasn't... Andrew, please forgive me, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey! Security, who allowed Miss Teddy into this company? Huh? She's up in my office! My friend, will you come upstairs right now? What's wrong with you? Are you mad? Please forgive me. You didn't Security have to... is coming and you're still standing here? You didn't have to sack me. I, I have no job to go to. Are you mad? Have... How does that concern me? Huh? Please, you didn't have to sack me. Stop I apologizing. Have... I said get out of my office. Please. Hey, what's wrong with you? How did she get into my office? Huh? I've been taken out of my office. Andrew. Drag her out of my office. Andrew. Do you want me to fire you? Wait, wait. Out, out. Andrew. Let me drag you out. Out, out. Take her out of my office. Andrew. Get out. 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 I'll I'll drop you out. Push this lady out of my office. Are you mad? What am I paying you for? But I'm wrong with how we drag you. Are you mad? Huh? How much do I pay you in, in this company? Tell you, I'm if you don't go, I'll, I'll drag you out of this office. It's yours. Can you imagine? I came to apologize. I said I'm forgiving you. You're still standing there saying it's, it's, it's not what I think. Just messed up my day. What is the matter? Fire. No, let's fire the company. <gasps> I, I have to rush to the office now. possible that this office will get burnt. An office that has fire alarm systems and anti anti flames. Somebody must have orchestrated this This cannot be an accident. 
will be Mrs. Betty. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't think she's capable of that kind of act. Uh, what reason would she even have to burn down half of the building? Man, this is serious. Yes, exactly what you heard is what actually happened. I'm baffled. You know how that office is is uh, well protected against fire, fire incidents. I don't know. I am as surprised as you are, man. Very surprised. Well, I I was also thinking that somebody might be behind this kind of act. But what reason can someone possibly have? And, but what reason can somebody possibly have for burning down half of that office complex? Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be going back to the office now, seriously. Maybe until they are done with the renovation of that other side. I think I'm going to take a break. Yes, my boss too. He has, he has, he has been at home. He's as bothered as, as I am. Even if not even more bothered. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Well, I'm going to be at home. Yes, you want to come by? You can just, you can just come over. Come, come over, let's have a good time there. Alright, man. Well, thanks for calling. Alright, take care. Bye. Right. I don't want you! I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Hey, stop, stop! Shut up! Shut up! Hey, listen to me. Listen and listen good. The next time you cross me, I'll not be responsible for what I'll do to you. You hear me? I hope you got my message this time. But, 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 but babe, what actually happened? I mean, how did it happen? Sweetheart, if I tell you that I have answers to this question you are asking me, then I'd be lying to you. I am as confused as you are, confused as any other person. I just wonder how somebody can have the mind to put a building full of lies with people, if, even though it's before it could spread to where there are staff, they build the, the uh, firefighters took care of it. But that act is a dastard act. It is heartless. No matter what issues you might have with somebody, you cannot just go burning down buildings when there are several lives in it. Are you suspecting anybody? Are you having issues with anybody in the office? Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm not. I'm not having issues with anybody. There is no way somebody could have put that building on fire. And still, that building is fortified from accidents of this nature. So it must be somebody. Somebody is after someone in that place. And that makes that environment very dangerous. 
Very dangerous. I I don't know how my boss is taking this uh, development right now. I just hope he's taking it lightly because he is emotionally drained. You know, you know how much money, time, and energy you put into building a firm, and somebody somewhere because of one little qualm or the other will want to bring down a lifetime of investment down. The length at which people go to settle disputes, it's amazing. This is bad. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. Bad is an understatement. This is crazy. I can understand. Sad. How are you holding up? Not so good. I'm just trying to process how a fire can just start up like that and nobody knows how. It's crazy. Hmm. You know, this actually blocks my chance of getting a bigger building. Not only do I have to fix this place, it will be difficult for me to get Vincent, Tobechuku, and Chidi up and running. How, how do I even do this? How? I'm just, I'm just happy that no one got hurt in the process. I mean, life is all that matters, right? It's okay. You I'm so sorry. It's okay. I just can't believe what happened to Andrew's office. I know. I've never seen him so devastated before, not even after I lost my child. I can imagine. I know you both have been going through a lot recently. Honey, this is more than recently. What do you mean? Claire, my marriage is not as great as it seems. Are you serious? Since when? It's very really long. <sighs> anyway, take care for something to drink. This is my house, I'll offer it. Are you sure you don't want anything? Just tell me everything that has to do with what is going on in your mind. Man like George. <laughs> Andy Mome. What's up, man? I'm doing good. What do you have for me? Well. Andy. Yeah. How is Betty taking all of this? Better than I am. Oh, well, it was good to see her the other day. When did you see her? Three days ago, at the parking lot here. What was she doing? Oh, well, she said she came to take you out for lunch, but you were not on seat, that you might be in some kind of meeting. But it was no problem. She was going to try again another time. So she left. I guess she never mentioned running into me. No, uh, she never did. George, uh, sorry to ask. What time was this? Wait, you know that business I told you about? The one about the financial investments? See, I, I need some money. I've been able to raise up 60% of the money 
I just need 40%. See, I need some money. Maybe I need some money. It's fine. Um, I'll do something about it. Really? Really? So you're the best. I mean, what will I do without you? Yeah? It's fine. It's okay. Okay. Right now, I just can't stop thinking about Betty and her marriage. Can you just stop thinking about Betty? Huh? And for crying out loud, just think about your own life. You, you're my fiancé. <sighs> hmm? You're not getting married to Betty. You're getting married to me for crying out loud. Sorry, Bukola. I just had to quickly do something inside. Hi, Betty. It's all right. Okay. How are you? As you can see, I'm doing better. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> okay, so I want you to start the proceedings, whatever needs to be done, as soon as possible. All right. Is that what you decided? Yes. I, I just think that we both have different ideas of what marriage should be like. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. You know, I've handled cases like this before, so I understand you perfectly, right? And like I said before, you're going to be all right. You know, your case is very simple, you know, irreconcilable differences, and you not wanting anything makes it super easier. Ah, so yes, good. it's going to go on fairly and quickly. Good, good. So... I'm moving in with my parents, I'm moving back to California. Oh, wow. Yes, I'll email you the address so that you can forward me all my billings there. That would be fine. Oh. So you Ooh. are actually looking so beautiful. Like, Do girl, I have a choice? look at you. <laughs> wow. I feel better. I cannot wait to just get out of this hell hole. It's all right, I understand. Um, so how is that guy that I used to see around you? Mm, I don't guy. like this look. <laughs> I don't like it. Please, let's not go there. As it's really, actually a very know, long story. To cut, so we just say rubbish. <laughs> There's an emergency. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to kill me. Yes, you have to hurry up, please. Yeah, number 11 in where is she? Aja. Yes, please, you have to you have to go very quickly. else you're not living in this house. So it was you all along. Huh? Me doing what? I said I didn't ask- You move a muscle! You think you're smooth? Do you think you're slick? Andrew, I gave you my body, I gave you my heart, my soul, I gave you everything in this marriage! And what did you do? You messed around with all the makeup girls! I saw you, pretending.
baby. Look, I'm sick of your shit and your lies. You think I'm just gonna sit around and, 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 and have you deceive me? Yes, I am the one behind all your downfall. Me, Betty, I did it. You wanna know how? Do you wanna know? I took the food poisoning that made you miss the biggest meeting of the year. <laughs> Okay, so where is it? Where is it? Are you sure this is not going to kill him? Do you want him dead? No, for sure. It will just destabilize him. Don't worry. Okay, okay, go. I'll send you the money later. I'll send it now, please. I'll Let me send see. send it to you. Please, sir. Your head got it. While you were upstairs sleeping, snoring, maybe even dreaming about all the ladies girls you're about to sleep with, I had a mechanic come in and tamper with your car. Yes, sure. Let's go inside. What's wrong with you? My husband will be back in 30 minutes. Okay. See, I'll leave the gate open so you can bring the mechanic in later. Okay, okay. Well, you? you have to do the transfer now. I'm giving you some money. You're paying the balance after yeah. the job. I will balance the guy. Don't you like money too much? It's not about life. Come, 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 come. See my husband come and see me. CID, and that's my colleague, Inspector Shego. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Mrs. Benjamin. You have the right to remain silent, or else anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Inspector, arrest him, please. Move it. Move it, young man. Move, move, move. Slowly, move, move. Move, move. Move it, young man. Move it! Move! Officer, thank you so much for what you've done. You and your team, I really don't know how to, to thank you enough. You saved me. Oh, welcome, Maria. We're just doing our job. Oh, no, I, I mean, people like that are not supposed to be in, in our society. He's dangerous. He needs to stay in jail. I lost my baby to that man. He wants to kill me. The good thing is that he has finally been convicted. Yes. So have nothing to fear about. Yes, he shouldn't be roaming on the streets. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everything just went well. 
And I'm, I'm, I'm very, very thankful. You're welcome, madam. You, I, I have something, you know. Madam, thank you very much. You don't thank want you. anything to drink? No problem. Thank you.